Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 25th of February. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using three of my decks this week. We've got the Teacup Tarot, the Time to Shine Oracle and the Mini Messages Oracle. So starting off with your overall energy, the Seven of Coins is about you doing the groundwork, planting the seeds, taking those action steps towards this new venture. If she doesn't plant the seeds, she can't enjoy the flowers. So you need to be doing the groundwork. You need to be making those first steps forward and then no need to worry. Now, she can plant these little seedlings, but she can't make them grow any faster. So she just needs to pause. She just needs to wait. And then the flowers will bloom in their own good time. So that's just what you need to do this week. Starting something from scratch, planting the seeds. Your help or your hurdle, the four of teacups says, look at the bigger picture. Stand up, turn round. Here she is, look, so focused on the past. These three little teacups here. She's missing this golden opportunity right behind her. So step back, take your time. Look right round you. Look from all different angles because there could be a wonderful opportunity that you are missing if you are so focused in one direction. And here it is, the dreamer card. This is what you need to focus on. Taking that leap of faith. This is the first card in the whole deck. This card says you are ready. Look, she's got everything she needs. And the important thing is she is opening these doors of opportunity herself. Now, you can stand behind them for ages. But it's opening the doors, taking that leap, taking that risk, stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit. And that's what you need to be focusing on this week. How can you help yourself? Six of coins. This has shown up in a lot of the other readings as well. These are the pennies falling from heaven. These are things you've been working for and hoping for coming into view. So this is very much connected to finances, uh, home life, work life, study, um, things that you've been manifesting coming into view. Pulling it all together, the seven of pencils says it's time for you to make new plans now, which focus on your needs as well. Not just everybody else's. Time to leave behind the old ways. And look, the signpost is pointing towards your needs, your plans and new ways forward. And here you are, the chariot. Here is the new way forward. This cart shows up when delays are over. This is a fast movement forward. And it reminds you when you make your move to do so with balance and with discipline. Now look, she's on ice skates here. She needs to really concentrate on what she's doing because she's, you can move pretty fast across the ice, but you need to be balanced in order to do it really well. So just looking at your tarot cards, doing the groundwork, planting the seeds, getting busy on those new ideas, and then letting things unfold looking at the bigger picture because there's an opportunity there that you could be missing being ready to open those doors of new opportunity here's the opportunity and focusing on new plans which include you and what you need and a fast movement forward very likely. So let's get a bit more clarification. The Eight of Thought says it's time to leave any negativity behind. Focus on what could go right and oh yes I can needs to be your mantra. Pop that balloon of negative thoughts 
or better still, anybody else's negative thoughts. It's time for you to believe in yourself. Because here is the wonderful new beginning. Look all around you. This fantastic new beginning is right here. That's just what the 13 of wisdom is. It's transformation. New chapters opening up. Wonderful new opportunities. The 10 of action says the difficult times are over with. You've worked hard. You've done a lot. Now rest, relax. Do what she's doing on the card. Look, cup of tea, chocolate biscuit. Then you will be ready for this fast movement forward and this wonderful new beginning. How can you help yourself? Avoid anybody else's drama. Move away from the nonsense. If there's any drama and nonsense going on, leave it where it is. You are well protected. Look on the card. She's got her umbrella and her Wellington boots. This thunderstorm isn't going to worry her. And she's focusing on where she would like to go. This is where these new plans focusing on your needs will be important. And the eight of action, expect to get busy with that on the chariot card in the same reading. Literally, delays are over, lots going on at once, lots up in the air. This is you, it's the end of delays. You getting busy in all different areas for the best reasons possible. And the ten of life, one of the happiest cards in the whole deck. This is lovely. Enjoying quality family time, happy home life, happy work life, happy relationships, financial security and peace of mind. Absolutely beautiful. So let's just have a look at your card from the mini messages deck and from the intuition suit. Psychic senses. Stay awake for signs. They are there to guide and help you. So listen out for those words on the radio that really resonate. There might be a little white feather or a coin somewhere where you're least expected to let you know that your angel support team is right there with you. Pay attention. So summarising the whole reading for you. Do the groundwork. Put the new plans together, which include you. Look at the bigger picture. Leave behind any negativity and any nonsense. It's time to let that go because these new opportunities are coming in. This transformational new beginning is coming in and this could be happening quite quickly. So sit down, enjoy your cup of tea and your chocolate biscuit because things will be taking off. And the 10 of life is absolutely lovely. Happy home life, happy work life, financial security, peace of mind. And here you are opening the doors to this brand new opportunity. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for clicking that subscribe button and subscribing. That is such a help to me and my channel. It supports me and I so appreciate it. So look after yourselves. Have a lovely week and I'll see you here again soon.